Hey guys, what about Amy Obi here? Oh, just gonna, yeah, textbook fabulous. We're just gonna have a little conversation after the boys calm down. Um, one of the, I just so this is gonna be kind of the third discussion video I've done in this sort of series I've been doing. So I did the do new designers um, get treated unfairly. Then I went um, do or sorry, how do you become an established designer? Uh, and I just want to and uh, trying to build on that a little bit. And this one is more about feedback and, and kind of the best ways to take feedback. And so what I'm going to end up calling it is do's and don'ts about receiving feedback in course design. So I've got chat fired up. I'm on Twitch right now. If you're interested in seeing me do this stuff live, twitch.tv slash whataboutamiobi. And while I'm doing calls to action, feel free to hit like and subscribe if you're enjoying this kind of content. Um... So I'll start with a don't. And I'm sure the chat will chime in with some do's and don'ts of their own. First, don't. Don't ask for feedback if all you want is positive comments. Um, and I don't think anybody asks for feedback with that intention. But then it feels like that's ultimately what ends up happening. Is that anytime you give them feedback that isn't, this course is amazing. They start arguing it. Which goes to my second don't, which is don't argue with the feedback. <laughs> Understand that that's that person's opinion. That's that person's impression of the course that they're playing at that time from that T-set in those conditions on that day, potentially in that mood that they're in. Um, and so you might not agree with them, and that's fine. And it doesn't matter. So if we use me, there are times where I give feedback and people don't like it and they don't agree with it. And that's okay, because it's just my opinion. And I'm not an authority on anything. So um, arguing with the person giving the feedback usually isn't going to give you a whole lot of benefit. What it will do is it'll make that person less likely to give you feedback in the future. And in whatever community that you're in, getting that feedback from, it's going to make other people start to have a bit of an opinion of you. They're going to think... Oh yeah, okay, he's the one. So TGC Tours has the misunderstood genius, they call it. The person who comes in and is like, well, no, you guys don't know anything. My course is great. You guys don't know what you're talking about. Um, so just be careful about that kind of stuff. Um, Vikings got a great idea here. So ask questions. Yeah. And I'm so one of the things I would say to do is do take feedback, listen to the feedback that makes sense to you and use it. Don't, and then the feedback that doesn't make sense to you, just don't use it, right? But there's times where I see people, and there's, there's multiple people that do this, and I don't know that they're aware of it, but when their course is getting feedback, it's like they're defending their dissertation, getting their PhD. Um, and it, they feel like they have to justify their course when a person is giving feedback on it. And you don't have to, right? You just let them play it. Let them give the feedback. And I would even say, take a moment and just let it settle. Maybe even, have, you know, go to sleep, you know, sleep, have, you know, have, it, have a sleep. And then, and then the next day, kind of get a feeling of, okay, how do you feel about that feedback? Because in the moment, your feelings might be completely different than the next day. And this goes for me the same. There's times where I've given feedback on a course, and then the next day I've watched it back, and I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm not so sure I agree with that. I'm not sure that, I'm not sure what I was seeing there, but now with you know, the benefit of a night's sleep, I can see stuff a little differently. Um, so that happens with me too, right? I'm a massive believer that anytime you put content out on the internet and you advertise it, <laughs> Daniel, you're inviting criticism. So the fact that I have this on YouTube and on Twitch, I'm inviting people, I'm inviting criticism. And it's fair game for somebody to say, your stream sucks. They don't have to give it to me constructively. I'd be nice if they did to make so I can help me make it better, but you don't have to. You're invite you by putting it out there and advertising it. You're basically you're you're fair game, and so by putting your course out <laughs> and advertising your course, you're basically you're what. So why are we advertising courses and streams? We're advertising. I advertise my streams. So I want people to watch, right? That's ultimately what I'm doing it for. Like I. I'm not, I, I wouldn't be streaming if nobody ever watched. The goal of any streamer is to have people watch. Now, how many people? That's different. Everybody has a different number of what's good. But um, 
but I, you don't advertise your stream so that nobody will watch it. I should? It's been here for a couple of years now. I'd like it. Um, people don't advertise their course for nobody to play it. So I think that once you put it out there and you've advertised it, you're basically saying, come play my course. I think it's fair game for people to then tell you that they didn't like it. And I think it's also fair game that they just tell you they didn't like it. They don't have to give you constructive feedback. So if they are giving you constructive feedback, that's all the more reason not to argue with it. All right, what do we got here? In times where I haven't been happy with feedback given on other courses, it was all ranty, just disliking, not going to specify. Yeah, okay, I get you. So if, that's, if there are streamers out there that just do dumpster fire streams, or they just rant, your options are very simple. You don't have to watch, right? Fall victim, that's frustrating. Somebody plays, give a statement. I would never go here. This doesn't make sense. When, you've, when you have intentionality on it, you want to communicate that. Sometimes it comes off as defensive arguing. Yeah. Um, and so there's times where as a person giving feedback, so I try to stay away from absolute comments um, because it's very rare that it's that black and white. But there are times where I'll look at something and go, I'm not sure when I would ever go over here. Um, but the other thing to keep in mind, and this is something that I play, it's my first look at it. It's likely going to be my only look at it. It's live. I made the decision to do it that way for the authenticity of it. The other option I have would be to not do it live, to record it, to edit the hell out of it, to make sure that I come across as good as I possibly can, and then to be very picky about the courses that I play, right? So, um, sometimes there's, yeah. Yeah, and that's, and I get that, Trail Ducker. Um, I do get that. People are excited to see their courses being played, and so they want the person playing it to get that full experience. One of my beliefs is that Golf is not a game you should have to read the book beforehand to play. So, to me, that's why I, that's why I don't read stuff ahead. That's why I don't read people's posts ahead of time. That's why I don't record it. That's why I don't, I just, I want to just I put it on the first tee and see what we've got. And if I don't catch something, sometimes it's I didn't catch it. Sometimes I missed it, right? Sometimes it's just so kind of subtle or... It's so kind of, it's the word I want. It, it's just that difficult to see it that you actually have to go looking for it, right? And it's tough to have that balance of subtle strategy, but then needing to be told about it. Like if I need to be told about it, then I'm not sure. But then there's just stuff I miss sometimes, right? So it kind of goes both ways. Let's see what else that I have for do's and don'ts. Um, do ask for feedback, right? Do ask for feedback. It's the best way that you can, it's the best tool that you have to, to get better at making courses. Um, the other one would be do decide what your goal is for the kind of course that you want to create. Do decide what kind of designer you want to be, what kind of courses you want to create, and what audience you want to present that to and then do make sure that your vision and what the community that you're targeting is looking for are the same thing that that was a good one axel by the way <laughs> um i think one of the things i see a lot and this is more of the misunderstood genius you'll see and it's most of my time spent in tgc tours i don't do much in reddit i don't do much in facebook but you'll see people who will come into TGC tours. Often it'll be in the course is not accepted. And they'll be arguing over the feedback. And basically what they're creating a course that isn't what TGC tours is looking for. Does it make it a bad course? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. It's just different than what TGC tours is looking for. Right? If there's a course that I didn't enjoy, does it make it a bad course? Not necessarily. It's just different than what I'm looking for. Right? Um, I have the, my styles that I enjoy. I, I prefer more realistic. I can get on board with fantasy. I know it's fantasy, but you know, it's every now and then I wouldn't want to play fantasy all the time, but I think it's important to understand that first of all, this is a hobby. So you should be designing courses you enjoy. 
And then if you want them to be, if you want to present them to other people, you need to find the people that are going to enjoy the courses that you've created. That's your job. That's not the community. The community's job isn't, um, the community's job isn't to learn why your course is so great. Your job, it's, it's the, your job to find the community that's going to enjoy the kind of courses that you make. So, <laughs> Charlie. Um, so that's something else I'd be doing. Like, do really sit down and think about what kind of courses that you're wanting to make, um, and then make them. But also, and then the other thing I'll say is don't let other people's opinions dictate the kinds of courses that you make. Okay. You need to design because it's what you enjoy. You need to design because it's fun. You need to enjoy because it takes stress away. You need to make sure you're not creating more stress with your hobby. So if you find that people don't like your course, then maybe they're not the right people. Maybe they're not the ones that should be playing your course. Or you know what? Maybe you're just, your court, maybe you like it, and nobody else does. Great. As long as you're happy with what you've created, that's what matters. Now, when you put yourself into a contest, that's kind of, it's kind of hard to say it that way because you're going to get judged and you're going to have a finishing position within that contest. But even then, you, you, the only thing you can do as a designer is create the best course that you can create that you and, and create the design and the vision that you had as best as you can do it, all right? If you've done that, you've done everything. Other people's opinions don't really matter. They really don't. And so I, I, one of the things I hate hearing is somebody saying, geez, I hope Wayne's going to like this. No, don't worry about me. I'm the last person you need to worry about. The, the most important person, the most important critique of your course is your own. Are you happy with your course? If you are, perfect. Done. You've done it. So do design for yourself. You shouldn't, Maddie. <laughs> Um, any more do's and don'ts from the uh, peanut gallery before I wrap this one up? Which one was that, Viking? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Bitcoin. Oh, I don't remember. I've played so many courses, dude. Um, if somebody brings in another one, I'll, 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 I'll bring it in. Um, I tend to like doing these unscripted, um, unedited videos partly out of <laughs> partly out of laziness but partly just because it it becomes it for me it's more authentic to do it that way so um if you like this like and subscribe oh no 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 yeah b-roll you know where you can stick the b-roll uh no i've still got a couple more blind wolf um so yeah so like and subscribe helps the channel lets me know that you're enjoying it um lets me come up with more ideas of courses to do or play sorry discussions to do like this see that's not edited um i'll be back with another one at some point in the future uh next thing you probably will see we'll play be play through with the designer with maddie from canada now i'm gonna say cheers thanks guys